Schiff. He's the president of Euro-Pacific Capital. He's the author of The Real Crash. All right, Peter. Uh, looks like we've got a global slowdown coming. or well, it's in progress, that's for sure. Are you saying we get a crash, that this is 2008 all over again? Unfortunately, Stuart, it's going to be worse than 2008. That wasn't the real crash. I think the real crash is still coming. You know, before um, I was on, I overheard your discussions about quantitative easing. And yeah, QE3 is coming. I was predicting QE3 when the Fed did QE2. And the reason I knew QE3 was coming is because I knew QE2 wouldn't work. And that's why QE4 is going to follow QE3. It never works. It just makes the economy sicker. The reason we're so screwed up is because all this t QE is toxic. Does it kick the can down the road? So what I mean by that is if the Europeans print euros and America prints dollars, does that just delay the crash that you're talking about? Well, it, it makes things worse, and I, I, I don't doubt that we're going to try to pressure Germany into printing. It's kind of like we're the kid that's trying to uh, get a friend to ditch school with us to go to, to go to the beach. I mean, we're a bad influence on everybody, but it, it's much better to allow an economy to restructure. It's like if you're, if you're sick, you want to cure the disease. You don't want to numb the pain on Novocaine uh, while the disease gets worse. And in America, the problem is interest rates are too low. They have to go up. We can't have an economy with interest rates at zero. We need to have an interest rate that reflects true supply and demand of savings and borrowing. We need a market rate of interest. And until we do that, we're going to have this phony economy that is held together uh, by Fed stimulus. But it can't do it forever. Eventually, we overdose on it. The dollar collapses. We have runaway inflation, and that's much worse than the pain associated with allowing the economy to restructure. I hear but, you, you know, Peter. if the Fed lets interest rates go up, we have to realize we're going to have a deeper look, recession. I, I we have to realize you. banks are going to fail, and the government's going to have to slash oh, no, spending. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm wondering why hasn't the price of gold gone up? Very recent. It has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, not, well, it's, it's, it went up to a log, eighteen hundred bucks, then come back down to fifteen hundred dollars. That's not exactly a spike at the precise moment when you've got people considering printing trillions of euros and trillions of dollars. Why isn't it up more? Yeah. Well, look, you know, I, when I first started coming on Fox, gold was around 400. So it's been going up. It hasn't skyrocketed in the last year, but that doesn't mean that it won't. I think there are a lot of people that don't understand what's going on. Look at how many people are buying the dollar. Look at people buying treasuries. That makes no sense either. Look, people were lining up to buy Facebook, and they quickly discovered that they didn't want that either. I think, you know, the dollar is going to end up being the Facebook of safe havens. I think people that are, that are selling gold are making a mistake. My clients are still buying it. I haven't sold any of my gold and I, I think it's going a lot higher. I think that eventually people are going to realize that gold isn't a risk asset. It is the safe haven asset, that the risk lies in the dollar, that the risk lie in treasuries and other currencies that are being printed into oblivion. All right, we hear you. And we're looking at the price of gold, we're looking at treasuries, we're looking at the dollar, we're looking at everything. And it's a very nail-biting time. I think we can all agree on that one. Peter Schiff, thanks for coming back to us. Long time since we saw you. Come again soon. We appreciate it.